hi and welcome to another support video from Instrument Choice. Here we'll show you how to set up and start your LASCAR USB data logger. First of all, open the EasyLog USB software. If you don't have the software, follow the link in the description to download. Select Setup and start the USB data logger. On this page, you can name your logger, set temperature scale and set the logger's frequency. The number in the brackets next to the logger frequency is the time it will take for your logger memory to fill. On the next page, you can select how long the display is on. Choose between LCD display always off, always on, or on for 30 seconds after you press the button. Keep in mind the LCD display will reduce the battery life of the logger. Next, you can select what you want your logger to do once the memory is full. Select between stopping the device from recording or rolling over old data to continue recording. You will not be able to recover any overwritten data. If you are only interested in monitoring alarms, the rollover option might work best for your needs. If you're interested in downloading and saving all readings, stopping when full is recommended. Once selected, click Next. This page is for alarm setup. Here you can turn on any required high or low alarms as well as set temperatures. For this example, we have set the high temperature alarm at eight degrees and the low temperature alarm at minus three degrees. If you wish for the LEDs to indicate an alarm has occurred, even after returning to a normal temperature, select hold. Once set, click next. On this page, you can personalize the LED notification of alarms. What this is, is selecting the number of consecutive alarm readings that need to occur before it is indicated by the LED lights. Once you've entered the number of alarms, it will display how long the alarm time is. For this example, it will be in an alarm state for two minutes before LED notification. When selected, click next. Lastly, you can select how you would like the logger to start. You can select immediately after pressing the button on the logger or at a later time and date. The setup for your logger is now complete. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.